Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth and in today's video we are going to go thrifting and we're also going to hop into Hobby Lobby and check out some of their fall decor to get some pre-fall inspo and then I'm going to take you into my master bedroom and show you some new things there and tell you all about my design plans for an upcoming master bedroom makeover. I hope that you enjoy. Let's get right into the thrifting. I really did think that these little Christmas tree topiaries were adorable and I thought pretty hard about getting them but I kind of talked myself out of it because I have so many little trees already and it's still kind of early before I need to start thinking about decorating for Christmas so I really need to go through my inventory before I buy anything else I think. So from the looks of the shelf, you would think that it's full enough that I would find something really special, but sadly on this day, I didn't really find a whole lot, um, not really in this area anyway, no cool art pieces or shelving or anything, but if anything's catching your eye, let me know down in the comments below because who knows, I might have missed something. I did think this frame was quite pretty and elegant. I didn't care for the art, so I didn't want to get it for $8 just for the frame without um, a piece of art in mind that I was going to put in it. I really liked the gold um, faucet nozzle on this piece. Usually you find these and they have plastic um, nozzles, but this one was really nice. Um, I didn't really like the terracotta part of it. I don't really have that color in my home, but other than that, I thought that this was interesting and I'm sure somebody picked it up because it was a really nice piece. Okay, and now we are at Salvation Army where I tend to have a little bit better luck than Goodwill most of the time. Um, so my first stop is always to the left of the store where all of the pillows and the linens and the textiles are. I had mentioned to you guys in the intro that I am starting to do some collecting of items for my master bedroom makeover. And I really liked the colors in these pillows. That French kind of robin's egg blue is kind of exactly the color that I want to go for in my room along with creams and golds. So I did pick up this little pillow and let me take you into my master bedroom and share a little bit more with you. So as you guys can see, the pillow ended up on my bed and I am also very excited to share with you that Brooke Linen um, offered to sponsor this video by gifting me with these gorgeous Lux Sateen sheets from their Lux Hardcore Sheet line. Love how luxurious these sheets, this duvet cover and the pillowcases, all of it. I mean, it feels like we are at a hotel. And when you have two little kids at home, creating those experiences is really what I'm all about. And, and Brooke Linen is definitely helping me to achieve that in my home. And Brooke Linen is offering my audience 
a discount code of $20 off a $100 purchase or more using the code Old Maple Home 20. I'll leave all of that information just right down in the description box below. Click that little arrow. There'll be a link for you and then the code so you don't have to worry about forgetting it. Just remember Old Maple Home 20 gets you $20 off a $100 purchase. But again, I went with the Lux sheet collection. I went for white. I just wanted things to be crisp and clean. This bedroom is going to be getting a big makeover here soon. So I wanna start with just simple things that I can build off of, like these Lux sateen sheets that are tightly woven. You can feel the quality, they're heavy. They're gonna really keep us warm come winter in a cold, drafty old house. And in Michigan in the wintertime, you need something that's really going to retain your heat, but still be breathable, um, especially with a husband who tends to get very warm at night. I think he's, we're going to love these sheets in the winter. We already love them right now. They're just working out amazingly. They feel like butter. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm so thankful to Brooklyn and for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. It was so kind of you to reach out to me and to think of me. Brooklinen has different sheets to accommodate every type of sleeper. The classic sheets are great for hot sleepers. The luxe sheets, like the ones I got, are great for people who sleep cooler. And the linen sheets are great for breathability all year round. Okay, you guys, I am ditching the tripod and just doing it selfie style because my phone keeps saying that it's full. So this way I can keep an eye on it. Um, but what I wanted to do was kind of tell you some of the vision that I have for our master bedroom here. It feels so fun to be finally heading up to the second floor to start um, decorating and just making all of the changes that I want to make here. So um, now that I have my new bedding from Brooklinen, um, it's, I'm feeling very inspired now to really get going with this bedroom makeover. I am. Okay, so some of the things that I'm hoping to accomplish here for my thrifty bedroom makeover is um, the thing I'm probably most excited about is I want to put a crown with a canopy over top of my bed here. And I'm hoping to use some curtains that we already have that I took down because I got some new window treatments that I'll be sharing with you guys very soon that I'm super excited about. And another thing that I'm going to be doing is some stenciling in the board and batten here. And I'm gonna be using some color. So I'm excited about that because it's a stencil that I've had for a long time and I haven't um, used it yet and I haven't known where to use it. So I think this will be the perfect spot for that. Um, some new lighting that I'm on the hunt for and maybe even I'll attempt to center that over the bed so that'll be beautiful um, let's see what else yep lots of paint and stenciling lots of fabric I'm going to try my hand at sewing maybe doing some pillows um, I really want to try and use like um, a certain fabric and kind of repeat it throughout the room if I can, because I feel like that is a very French thing to do. So I'm just really excited to make our bedroom very romantic and like a French Parisian getaway. Um. I want to thank you so much if you stuck around through all of that. I know it was a little bit of a detour from the thrifting, but I also want this channel to be about decorating and home makeovers since that's also a huge part of my life. So I hope that you also get inspired by all of those things as well. And isn't this chair just beautiful? I loved all the carving on it. I think they did a really tasteful job at recovering it with the fabric. Um, but for $15, I just didn't really have any place that I thought it could go in my home. And am I the only one that gravitates towards rusty, crusty old toolboxes? I don't know what it is about them, but I always um, think that I 
maybe could use it in my house somewhere. I just think that they're nostalgic and just an interesting way to decorate. And I do end up picking up this glass pumpkin. Um, I just liked how simple it was. It's a good introduction to fall. So I just have it sitting on my stove for right now. definitely had to bring home this mortar and pestle. I thought it was so cute. I love that it was glass. Um, it can go in so many places since it doesn't take up a lot of visual space and I don't like to clutter my kitchen up too much, but I thought that I could actually use this piece. I've seen them in marble before, but I've never seen a glass one. Um, you guys will have to let me know if you have. So on that day, I also stopped into Hobby Lobby to see what they had out for their fall decor and to kind of get in the mood, get some inspiration so I can get ideas of what I could be looking for at the thrift store, um, things that I could flip and whatnot. So let me kind of show you the things that were catching my eye. I also noticed that Hobby Lobby has a lot of new decor lines out that have a very vintage kind of a look to them. Um, I really loved these little art pieces here. I actually picked up the one that says patisserie and it's in our little breakfast room and I just love that. I also have this little print that's more of a green field kind of a look and I have that in my bathroom. Um, if you haven't seen that room transformation, I will leave a link for you. It's a really good one. I thought the color of these pillows would be absolutely beautiful for fall. I think that's kind of the direction that I want to go with. Rusty oranges, um, golds, and maybe even some mossy greens for fall. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you guys have planned. I hope that you all enjoyed a look at Hobby Lobby for some fall inspiration and a look at some of their new decor. And again, here is my little haul from this day of thrifting and Hobby Lobby shopping. And I will see you guys very soon.